So, if you think drawing conduit was easy, drawing cable trays is a snap. What I'd like to do is jump into our electrical project, O212. Under electrical, power, I'd like to go to floor plans, level one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into my electrical room, and I'm gonna draw my cable tray up, over, and I'm gonna drop it down into my storage room. I'm gonna need a little help for my section, but that's fine. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zoom in on electrical. I'm gonna to go to my systems tab. I'm gonna click on cable tray. Notice that we have a bunch of choices in our type selector dropdown. I wanna grab ladder cable tray. I like it because you can fit your hand up in there. It's good stuff. I'm gonna start really low in the electrical room, like 50 millimeters, basically on the ground. I'm gonna pick a spot here. I'm gonna come up to about here. Now I'm gonna alter my offset to 2750. Now I'm gonna come up to about here and it's gonna go straight up for me. I'm gonna come across here. I'm gonna come out to here. I'm gonna come out to about where this conduit is. Now what I can do, if I hit escape, and if I take my section marker, and if I move it down a little bit, so I can see that cable tray, and I can see my storage room, I'm gonna double click on my section marker. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna to go to my Analyze tab, I'm gonna click Space Tag, and I'm gonna tag these rooms so I know where I'm at. Corridor, office, aha, storage. This is the room I wanna to get to. I'm gonna set my detail level to fine. Now here's my cable tray running right underneath that conduit. So I'm gonna select my cable tray now, and I can drag it over. And if I wanna alter the elevation, I can do that. So I'm gonna select my cable tray. I'm gonna right click on this little icon. I'm gonna draw a cable tray. Notice that I can draw my cable tray. I can alter it to go down. I can come out to here. Maybe I need to come up a little bit. So I can start to draw my cable tray any way I want. But right now I'm not so sure if I'm gonna hit my storage room or not. So I'm gonna pick that point right there. I'm gonna hit Control Tab. I'm gonna go back to my plan. Sure enough, it's not gonna make it. So I'm gonna select that cable tray. I'm gonna right click right here. I'm gonna draw a cable tray. I'm gonna come up to here. I'm gonna come over to here. Now my offset, I'm gonna go back to 50 millimeters. I'm gonna draw that out to the ground. I'm gonna drop it down into that room. Go to a 3D view. It's kinda of hard to see. So what I'd like to do is come up with a really cool 3D view. So I'm gonna hit Control Tab and go back to my plan. Now, what I wanna do is this pin icon down here, click it. I want to have the little red X selected on that pinned icon button. What I wanna do is zoom into here, and I'm gonna pick a window, and I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna pick a window all the way around till I get to my electrical room. I'm gonna select whatever items are here. Now, on my view panel, I'm gonna click on this little selection box button. Go ahead and click that, and I'm gonna hit escape. Now what happens is this is gonna orient your default 3D view to a section box. I'm gonna change my detail level to fine, and I'm gonna change my visual style to realistic. Now what we're looking at is a pretty nice view of how we've routed our stuff. We've got how we routed our conduit. We've got how we routed our cable tray. Now we can really make some decisions on construction, on clash detection. Hey, I think we're using BIM.